The biggest gotcha in CS4 is going to be the change in pixel aspect ratios for a variety of video formats. Now, as it turns out, for all of these years, most video applications, After Effects included, have been using a slightly wrong number for pixel aspect ratios for these formats. They made the assumption that the entire frame is supposed to be visible image, and therefore they based their math off of that. In reality, there's these two different sizes out there. There's the production aperture, which is the entire image area of the captured file, and then a slightly smaller area known as the clean aperture. That has the true aspect ratio of the final image and sits inside the production aperture just a little bit. Programs like After Effects have been looking into production aperture to decide par when they should have been looking at the clean aperture. Okay, that's a bunch of technical stuff. Let's get down to what this means for you. If I have something like a normal D1 NTSC file and open its interpret footage dialog, I'll now see that the par is very slightly different. It's 0.91 rather than 0.9. The true pixel aspect ratio for an NTSC image, DV or D1, is actually the ratio of 10 over 11, not the ratio of 9 over 10 that programs have been using for ages. There's similar small changes in the PAL and in the widescreen formats as well. The HDV stuff and the DVC Pro HD have not changed. Okay, fair enough. Let's say I wanted to make a square pixel D1 composition to work in. I'll do Command or Control N, select my preset for NTSC D1 square pixel, but notice it's no longer 720 by 540, it's 720 by 534. That takes the new pixel aspect ratio of D1 into account. I'll name this square pixels. Click OK, drag my footage into it, hit scale, and you'll see that I scale up by an equal amount on X and Y, 110%. Remember the 10 11 ratio I mentioned just a second ago, the inverse is 11 over 10, 110%. You'll see that the image fits perfectly. OK, so far so good. Different numbers, but it still works out. Let's make another comp. Let's go ahead and make a D1 non-square pixel. NTSC D1, 72046, which I'm familiar with, the new ratio of 0.91, and I'll give it a name, non-square, click OK. I'll drag my strange 72534 comp into my non-square comp, scale, pull it down, and edges fit cleanly all the way around, 91%. That's the 10 over 11 ratio. So once again, even if the numbers are different, as long as you let After Effects take care of the math, things will work out. Here's the one difference. What if you're creating web video? Now you need to deal with the extra pixels left over by the production aperture. I'll do Command or Control N, select the preset for web video, 320 by 240. Click OK. I'll nest, well, either one of these. Let's go ahead and just bring the non-square comp into my web video comp. Start scaling it down. And you'll see that I either going to have a little bit of extra trim on the top and bottom, or I'm going to crop off a little bit of stuff on the left and right. The side effect of these new pars is when you bring a non-square source into a small square pixel comp, such as a web video, you might need to crop or pad to make it fill out the entire image. That's because there's some additional pixels in the production aperture, the captured frame, that you don't want to see on the web. Now this is going to really throw some people off initially. They're not going to know what to do, but in truth, you shouldn't be seeing those pixels around the edges anyway. We'll go back to one of our prior comps, toggle the action and title safe grids, and remember, a person watching on television is not supposed to see anything beyond the action safe area anyway. So why are you showing them that area on the web? You should be cropping this off anyway when you make web video. So I'm going to go back to my web comp, name it web so I can keep track of it and scale it up slightly so that I am indeed cropping off what would have been the action safe in the full video so that my web video experience matches my broadcast video experience. So two things about the PARs. One, in some cases between formats, you're going to need to do a little padding or a little bit of trimming to make them work right. Second thing is when you're making web video, you really should be cropping off stuff around the edges anyway so that you get rid of the junk that's normally not seen on a television set.